Hello guys, Salman here bringing you another replay this time between programmer spawning as the blue terror in the upper right corner and blood as the red zerg in the bottom left corner. So let's just dive right into this one. Starting off, <laughs> nothing much gonna happen at this point. Uh, we have programmer saying uh, good luck and blood repeating with a uh, returning with a uh, good luck as well. So. Uh, both seem to be nice players, at least so far. We might see some rage later, who knows. Anyway, nothing much going on here. Now, I do like to point out that this is none of my friends playing. This is a replay that I found online due to a lack of replays from my mates. Uh, but I figured that I have some time left over, so I might as well do a replay. Anyway, it looks like we're going to get a supply depot here for the wall off from programmer yeah we do get that supply depot right there no scout yet from blood which is quite interesting as I would like to see him go scout if there is going to be a two racks or maybe even a proxy but at the moment he is supply locked so he has been doing the extractor trick uh, which is well it's debatable whether it's good or not but spawning pool is coming down so at least he is prepared for the two racks but we m he just doesn't know if it's coming so uh, would really love to see some scouting from him anyway programmer coming with a uh, scout here now bit late in the game but hell these players do choose when they want to scout and when they don't so it's all up to them it's all in good fun this is a game after all anyway scout coming in here does he find out that we have uh, this spawning pool going up semi late yes he is going to spot that spawning pool and he does know that there's no need to be af afraid however we do have a two racks going down here for programmer and one of them is going to be quite uh, offensive so we might see some early marine aggression from programmer and the question is is blood going to be prepared for this does he have enough defenses as we see two circlings are going to come out so that's of course only one supplier worth uh, but as we see here marines coming out from the one uh, barracks here as orbital command is almost finished and the second rack is almost finished for programmer so as soon as that one finishes we got another marine coming out marines coming out for both barracks and here we go, scout from blood, gonna get killed off, I'm pretty sure, no micro whatsoever, so <laughs> does not get killed off, alright, anyway, semi early hatch coming down from blood, so he's gonna go for an eco build, but we kinda had the feeling that was gonna happen already, as he only got those two circlings out, and that was rather late, so let's see what programmer intends to do about this, now he does not know about this second hatchery yet, I believe. Let's see here. Go, go, go. No, he does not know anything about this second hatch yet, so he is in the dark. Now, if he did scout, if he had kept the scout down here, he would be able to see that this one is coming up, so there's going to be less uh, minerals for blood, so that means that he can actually make a pretty successful push at this point, but he instead chooses to put down a command center of his own just to get on track with his economy as we know Terrans are uber balanced with their mules now we do see here quite a, a good group of circlings coming out here to push for blood but we have a, a lot of marines here to defend but still no micro going on so they're gonna get killed off really would love to see some just a little bit of micro from uh, from programmer <laughs> if not he's just gonna suffer a horrible horrible death but more marines gonna be pumped out. Oh! Hero SCVs to the rescue! Here we go. Oh yeah. Now that's micromanagement for you. Just pump them in there and let them do the dirty work. And we do see the mule also coming in here. Maybe to sort of repair his teammates. No, no auto repair on that mule. But they do manage to kill off the rest of the circlings. Yeah, there we go. Last one going down. But this has bought blood time to restock his army so that he is able to defend if programmer chooses to push out and at the same time we've got a pretty decent economy for him here but let's have a look at the units here we got 13 drones against 11 SCVs at the moment so 
that Hero SV stun did cost him quite a few units, but as we see here, another big push coming out for Blood, but we got a nice little wall off here for Programmer, so he is prepared for this push. It is not going to be very successful, I believe. Now, Marines in the bunker, Blood decides this is not worth it, I'm going to pull back, so... We got a stalemate at this point. Now, a nice wall of here. That command center has not gone down again yet. It looks like it got cancelled before in order to put down the rest of that uh, wall there. So, looking at the production, we've got two drones coming out for blood and nothing coming out for programmer. So, he is seemingly shocked at the turn of events that has been going on here. Now, a blood going for the back door rocks. Well, up. I guess that's a bit of a miss say because that's not really that door, is it? But rocks nonetheless. And we can see if he manages to get anything done once inside. Now, we do have a barrack scout here. That's a very nice play, but Blood could just commit to this, break it down, and go through because there is nothing much to defend here at this point in the game. However, at the same time, a lot and lots of lovely macro going on here for Blood getting that second gas and having full saturation on that first one. Now we do see the roach warning coming down here. I would love to see a banelings nest as he has obviously seen the huge amount of marines getting pumped out for these racks here. But we do have that second command sensor going down once again and this time he will be able to defend it so economy is going to be up and running for programmer very shortly. Now blood here with his super awesome fast spine crawler here sprinting down to his expo in order to defend if these two four six ten ish marines do choose to push out now let's see we got circling speed and that roach one coming down for uh blood plus an overlord let's see here army sizes we got 52 over 52 so he did manage to supply lock himself uh, and at the moment program only a me measly 35 below 54 but transferring workers he's gonna get that economy working and that will surely boost his unit production <laughs> and we got blood here managing to uh, supply lock himself once again however he does have seven drones on the way so he's really gonna macro up now make sure he can stay on top of this terrain uh, I would love to see him try to keep a little bit of pressure up but of course that could just be throwing away units to these two marines and this bunker right here so at the moment he's just staying defensive not gonna do anything just gonna pump out those drones to get a nice real nice economy now we do see lair tech on the way and another hatchery in base just to be just to be able to push out an extra large amount of units and there we have that roach warren no I mean sorry that banelings nest so we are gonna see banelings on the fields and a lot of units coming out for blood as soon as he gets that second hatchery up now he does have roaches, nine roaches on the way for blood and we do have the uh, glial reconstitution which is the uh, roach speed if I'm not mistaken let's see it uh, increases movement speed. Oh yay, I'm good at this shit. Sorry for my uh, French. Now we do have two Evo chambers coming out for blood, so he is going to go for some pretty wild uh, upgrades on those units and burrow as well. At, at the mean, at, in the meantime, we got combat shield coming for programmer, and he just keeps on spamming out those marines. So we got a real pro player here really just pumping out those marines doing all he can now I should not be talking because I'm pretty sure he would beat the shit out of my Zerg so uh, I should probably just be quiet about that <laughs> as we do see another command center coming down at the gold for programmer so he's going to try to out macro blood at this point in the game he does have this nice wall and he does have enough units to deal with this push unless he gets inside but let's see what happens later on in the game now we do have the 1-1 one, one upgrades coming for the roaches and more roaches on the way plus a hydralisk then so that range will be able to be used on both the roaches and the hydralisks and finally we see marauders coming out for 
programmer and stinger.